Uh, here is a brief demonstration of how the add-on Autocrat works with Google Drive and with Google Forms. Um, I have two different screens up right now, which may be a little confusing, but I just wanted to be able to show you how they correlate, um, and you'll see why I have the two screens up in one moment. So the first thing that you need to do when wanting to use Autocrat is create a Google Form. Um, this is my Google Form that I'm going to be working with today. And then when you create the Google form, you'll automatically also get a responses Google um, sheet created. So I'm going to open up the form right here. And you'll see, I'm going to just view the live form so you can see what this is what a student would see if you were giving this as a little quiz. So I have fields for first name, last name, um, what kind of poetic verse it was, and then a couple of essay questions. So now I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the same one and I'm gonna pull up the responses here. You can see that you know it's fairly easy to view the responses for just this brief multiple choice question but when you get into paragraph responses it's a lot more difficult to view it in the sheets so that's why we need to use Autocrat. So um, I'm gonna go back out here and go back to my drive and I want to just pull your attention to right here. This is a document that I created and we're going to use it when we use the Autocrat Merge. So this is um, just a Google Doc and I just want you to see that it correlates to exactly what I have in my responses. So I put student first name, which is here, and then you'll notice this kind of weird response there. And that is how the Autocrat is going to know where to merge in the response. So um, you can actually put whatever you want here as long as you'll know what it means because we'll match it up later. So the first thing you need to do once you've created your form is to create a, a doc document that um, has all the questions. So how chose what form of writing and you'll see I have that right here. And then you have to have these merge tags in. So you can format it the way you want. You can see I bolded the questions so I would be able to see them better. Um, but you can format it however you want as long as you have these merge tags. So now over in this window, um, I'm going to bring this to the forefront and I will show you how to actually get these responses to merge into that Word document. So once you are in your form responses, um, you can tap or click on add-ons. And then if you haven't already installed Ad Autocrat, just go to get add-ons search for Autocrat here, and then install it. It is a free one. Once it's installed, you can go to Add-ons, go to Autocrat, and say Launch. Once the Autocrat window is in your right corner, you can say New Merge Jobs. And this is where we're going to tell it to link with that Word document that I just showed you. So since I have already made mine, I'm going to go to Drive, and you can see right here, your Docker sheet must include merge tags. That's what I showed you just a moment ago. So you can go to Drive, and I am going to navigate to where I have that saved. So here's my What the Living Do, and it's my, my Google Doc. I'm going to select it. Okay, and here is where we're going to match them up. You'll see right here it shows you the tags. So these are what I created on my Google Doc. And then this is the sheet header. So this is what it correlates to in this Google Sheet responses. So you can see that it matches up the obvious ones. It knows first name goes with first name and last name with last name. The question one, two, and three, I have to manually match up. So when I click here, it gives me all my sheet headers and I just choose which one goes with which one. And I know because I made it. After you do that, you just tap save. And then um, it says to insert values from the spreadsheet, simply use tags below as placeholders. Um, this is if you want to, you know, if you're using this every single year in your classroom and you don't want to recreate it, you can actually have the naming, um, you know, convention be uh, Marie Howe. And then you could choose, um, oh, like the current date one and it would put the date so you would know the difference between this year and last year's. It says select the type of file you want to create. I want to create a doc. You can also create a PDF if you'd prefer and then just tap save.
Once it's done and you're back to this screen, just click Run Merge. Okay, um, once this goes through, it'll give you a little status report. All jobs completed, two jobs merged, zero skipped. And this is kind of nice because if you have students who maybe submit some late, when you rerun it, it won't create a new document for the students that it that you've already done. Um, in that case, it would say, you know, maybe two jobs merged, seven rows skipped if you had already, you know, merged the other seven. So I'm just going to click OK. Okay. And then I can go back out to my drive. I'm going to refresh that. And you can see right here that it created a new folder called What the Living Do Paragraph Results Merge Docs. So I can open that folder and it is going to have, this is what I named it, Marie Howe, um, and then the date. If you were working with students, you'd probably want the student last name and first name and then the date would probably be an easier way to do that. And you open it up and all of their answers are put exactly where you had those merge tags. So if you um, have any questions on this, feel free to drop me an email. It works pretty slick, and in this way, you can actually write your grades or your comments right on here and share the result right back with your student.